Hello and welcome back. It's time for another Maple 15 screencast. So we learned in an earlier screencast about how to define functions. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to plot those functions on a set of axes. Let's start by defining a function. Actually, we did this one before. It's the function g of x equals e to the negative x times cosine x. To review how we do that, we select the function definition expression from the expression palette, type g, then tab, then x, then tab, then select e to the a from the expression palette, then negative x for the exponent, use the right arrow key on your keyboard to navigate out, times, cosine of x, and then hit enter. And now the function is defined. To get a plot of this function, just right click on the output to get a context menu. Now select plots from the menu, then 2D plot. Maple will then produce a graph of your function. Chances are that you'll want to change something about your graph before you're done. For example, this plot appears in a default sized window, but it's not a very good choice because very little of the function's actual behavior is seen because of how low the graph goes. I think I'd like to change the x and y values on the axes to see more. To change the viewing window in this way, right click on the plot that you created to get a new context menu for it. Select axes, then properties. Let's change this plot so x goes from 0 to 2. With the horizontal tab selected, change the range minimum to 0 and the range maximum to 2, and then click OK. I think I need to change the vertical axis as well, so we'll go back to the graph, right click on it, select axes and properties, and then click on the vertical tab. If the data extents box is checked, uncheck it. Now enter in the values for y. Let's have these go from negative 1 to 2, and then click OK. Now we have a graph that shows the behavior of the function near the origin. We can also change the color, style, and thickness of the graph. Let's change this one to a blue curve that has a thick dashed line. Right click on the graph to get the context menu, then select color from the context menu, and then select the color you want. Right click the plot again and select line, then dash to make the graph a dashed line. Finally, right click on the graph one more time and select line, then line width, then click on the arrows to make the graph thicker or less thick. You can add labels to the axes by right clicking and selecting axes and then labels. Edit horizontal lets you add or edit the horizontal axis labels. Type your text into the box then click out of it to save. Similarly for the vertical axis labels. You can add another graph on top of this one. For example, let's add the graph of y equals 1 minus x onto this current graph. Now, you don't have to actually define a function in order to produce its graph. You can also use the plot command from the workspace. For example, to plot 1 minus x without defining it as a function, go to the workspace and type plot, then open parenthesis, 1 minus x, comma, then x equals negative 2, dot, dot, two, close parenthesis, and hit enter. This command plots one minus x as x goes from negative two to two. It's another way to produce a plot. To put this graph on top of the previous one, just click on the graph itself, not on the box, and drag the second onto the first. You can also click on the graph, copy it using control C or the copy command from the menus, and then paste it onto the second one. Finally, if you have more than one graph on the same set of axes, it's helpful to have a legend or a color-coded guide to the graphs that are present. To add a legend, right-click on the plot, select legend from the context menu, then show legend. You can change the location of the legend using the context menu and the position option and you can edit the legend using the Edit Legend option. Select Edit Legend, and then the curve you want, and a text box will appear in the legend, which you can then edit. You can edit any curve in the legend in the same way. Other things you can change about plots using context menus include the style of axes, 
adding grid lines from the axis menu, changing the style and properties of the grid lines from the axes menu, adding a title or caption, and you can even export the finished product to a graphics file that you can then use in other software, put on a website, or share with a colleague or classmate. That's enough to get you started with graphing functions. Thanks for watching.